My brothers and sisters, I ask you, when you think about yourself and you think about Jannah, where do you see yourself? Are you just happy to just make it? Or are you of those very few people who want the high levels? Because my brothers and sisters, Wallahi, I have news for you. Don't think that Jannah is all the same. You know, my brothers, what pushes you to do what you do in this world? What makes you wake up every morning and go to work? What, your love for work? What makes you get up every morning and go to work? Your love for work? No. Your love for this. Because you know, right? I work because I need this and I need this so that I can get through my daily life. Yes or no? What makes you go to school in the morning? What? Your love for knowledge? No. But you know, I need to go to school to get a good education. Right? And with a good, you know, with a good education, then I can get a good job. And with a good job, it always comes back down to what? These ones. Today I'm here to tell you, why do we do what we do? Why do we fast? Why do we pray? Why do we hold these events? Why do you do what you do as a Muslim? It's also for these ones. But not here. There. Don't think for a second, my brothers. Jannah is the reward. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, for those that are successful on the day of judgment, I will reward them. What is Allah going to reward you? My brother and my sister, this is now very personal now. Because Allah is talking to you. With all of these difficulties in dunya, you know, through, throughout the three days, we've been trying to encourage you to become a better Muslim, to become a better Muslima, to become someone that's, you know, all of these things. But for why? What's the purpose? What's the payment? What is the reward? What is to happen, you know, if I become the best Muslimah who's an active da'i, who's an active this and an active that, what's the reward? Allah says, if you are successful, if you pass for you, I have prepared something. My reward to you is something no eye has ever seen, no ear has ever heard, no heart and no mind has ever imagined or contemplated. This is what I have prepared. This is what I have prepared for those believers that are successful. I have prepared for them a paradise, the likes of which no one has ever seen or heard or even imagined.